Okay, so after we have done the auto tool calibration for all of your tools, the next step is to find what the height of the MDF is for your vacuum table. Essentially, we're going to set this, whenever we do a job, we're going to set the zero to the surface uh, of the material, of the bed, sorry, the bed, which isn't here, it's on top of the vacuum because our job goes on top of this, okay? So, um, so what we need to do is uh, we need to bring that across to here and we need to be able to compare the value of that tool. Now we're looking at tool number two at the moment. If we go back here, you'll see uh, tool two is selected. So let's use the jog button and uh, let's bring that across to where we want it. So we're just going to use the X, Y, and Z for the moment. And importantly, we're going to press F5. I'll just turn off F3 for the moment. We're not doing any more calibrations. So F5, make sure that's sucking the MDF down. That's sucking it down. Uh, we're going to press F1 just to bring up the tool cover. We're going to move this down. Get it a little bit closer. Not too close because we don't want to ram it. We're going to go across to our MPG wheel. So we'll press the MPG button. Come across to the MPG. Make sure it's on Z. We can use the 100 for a little bit. And we can just bring that down a bit closer. Okay, switch over to the X10. You've probably seen this all before. That's okay. Bring that down. I'm just looking down very close to the material. Just to see when it touches. That's pretty good there. And uh, we can just spin that a little bit just to check if it's marking the surface or not. Uh, it looks fine to be touching, okay. Now we don't want to release the vacuum pump now, otherwise that'll pop up into the tool. So we'll just do this as noisy as it is. Uh, we're going to go to offset setting. Now um, in here, this Z value is what we, this Z value is what we actually want to work out. We've already, you know, you can position X and Y coordinates later on when you're doing the job. The Z is the important one that's not going to change uh, unless we change the MDF, okay? So we've just put on the MDF, we're just measuring it now. We've got our Z of 264.17. We're gonna go to the tool set and have a look, okay? So we've got this uh, tool number two, it was, and we've got 274.347. And over here we've got 274.170. Now if we do a subtraction, oh sorry, 264.170 over here. It does have an absolute 10 more, interesting. This is the machine one we're using right here. So we have to subtract. What's 274 minus that 264 is 10. 347 minus that 170, well that'd be 177. So that's pretty easy, so 10.0. 177 is what we get when we do that subtraction. So let's go then uh, back to our uh, arrow here so we can see in here, we're gonna use our down arrow. We're just gonna type in that number, 10.177, and you'll see it's come up down here. Now remember, this is just the difference between what our tool had the Z auto height and what our measured MDF height is. Okay, so we, we've just calculated the difference is this 10.177. We press enter and you'll see it's up here now. Now the machine Z height is calibrated. We can back that off using the Z button. Uh, if we go back to jog and Z, just to bring that away, we can turn off the vacuum pump. And that is our Z calibration, done and dusted. We shouldn't need to change that now unless we change the MDF surface. Um, so just to rehash that, if we're going to do a job, we're going to suck this down through the MDF and suck it down. So whenever we do our, um, our Aspire uh, work to, to generate the G-code, we're going to make sure we're, get, we're using the table surface as our zero. 
you enter in the details in the Aspire software about the thickness of the material and it's all calculated for you. You don't have to worry about it. There's no more setting up in the machine except for the next step where we find the corner of our job to get started or the center point of our job, um, whichever way it is. And uh, that's for the next video. So I hope you've enjoyed that, learning how to configure the Z height of your surf CNC with ATC. Thanks for watching.